let's all take a trip back in time to a simpler time almost 30 years ago, to the days when the highways were less congested, to a time when we could name almost all of the neighbors along our road, when friends were more than just a huge number on Facebook, when sharing news and important events in our lives meant more than a quick blurb on Twitter or Facebook, to a time before email and blogs, when we actually talked to each other and shared our hearts. Family values, religion, love of the land, love of community, and true friendship all seemed more important back then. Yes, a lot of things have changed since the 80s, but some things never change. Let me read part of the Farmer of the Year Award presentation from 1983. Our honored farmer this evening has been actively engaged in farming the family farm all of his life. The farm has been in the family since around 1777. He is a very active member of St. John's United Methodist Church. He and his two sons operate a 165-acre dairy farm and rent an additional 150 acres. They also custom bale more than 70 acres of hay for other people. One of his hobbies is hunting, all kinds of hunting. However, his main hobby and most liked hobby is telling jokes. He is married to the former Mary Jane Scarborough and they are the parents of four children, Albert Jr., Mary Ellen, Willie, and Jane Ann. Tonight, Ab Ewing, I'm going to tell about a few pranks that you pulled in your younger days. I was told that you put a goat in Horace Yerkes' basement and pigeons in Bill Sidwell's house. And do you remember when you, Roger Mendenhall, and Jack Cole were attempting to borrow Chester Sidwell's car and were shot at? There is also the tale about Ab's terrible driving. One day, as Ab was driving down the Little Elk Hill on Route 273, Woody Gregg was seated next to him, really upset. Ab casually lifted the steering wheel off the steering column and handed it to Woody and said, Here, you drive. A good farmer, a real friend, and above all, a person who continually contributes to his neighbors and his community. A man who, on his own, has performed many good deeds beyond the call of duty without thought for recognition. The Farmer of the Year for 1983, Albert L. Ewing. Now let's all return back to the year 2012 and see what has not changed. The family values and traditions of Ab Ewing have continued on through the years. And we are happy to announce that the William D. Sissel Outstanding Farm Operation of the Year Award for 2011 is given to the Ewing Brothers. The Ewing brothers own a farm in the northeastern part of Cecil County, which contains some of the county's most fertile soil. An 1858 Martinet's map of Cecil County, Maryland, documents the area as Ewingsville, located between Fair Hill and Blue Ball, Maryland. The farm is owned and operated by Albert J. and William C. Ewing. To many in the community, they are better known as Abby and Willie. The family farm was originally a dairy farm up until 2006. In 2006, the decision was made to sell the Holstein herd and to expand the agricultural farming and grain operations. The Ewing farm has been in the family since the late 1700s. According to Clan Ewing in America, this may be the only land owned by an immigrant Ewing settler in Cecil County that is still owned by a Ewing family. It is one of the oldest owned and operated farms remaining in the county. Ab was born in the farmhouse, as were all the children. He worked the family farm his entire life. He married Mary Jane Scarborough in 1952. They lived in the farmhouse and raised four children, Mary Ellen, Albert, Jane Ann, and William. Everyone had their chores to do around the farm. Today, 
Mary Ellen is a dental hygienist, and Jane Ann is an RN. Abby and Willie followed in their father's footsteps, attending the agricultural program of Cecil County School of Technology while attending Elkton High School. After graduating, they continued working with their father. Ab semi-retired in the 1980s. However, Ab could always be found driving a tractor or truck to help out in the fields. For all who knew Ab, he offered so much history of our area, advice from his experiences, and so much love. Ab and Mary Jane had a long life together with their children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren. After Mary Jane's death in April of 2003, Ab continued to be the cornerstone of the family with his strong Christian beliefs until his death in June of 2007. Both are dearly missed, but their legacy continues through their family and friends. Abby married his high school sweetheart, Terry Keyes. They have one child, Albert Joseph. They built their home on the edge of the farm after losing their trailer to a fire. While Abby works the farm, Terry worked and later retired from General Motors. Terry now wears many hats, continuing to be a homemaker, gardener, protector of animals such as newborn kittens, baby chicks, ducklings, calves, and the list goes on and on to even include a newborn fawn at one time. Albert Joseph, the son of Abby and Terry, married Jeanette Mackey, and at present, they live in the old family farmhouse with their children, Brianna, age eight, and Jack, age three. Brianna loves horses and is an enthusiastic dressage rider. She loves taking lessons at the Louisville stables. Willie married Tyler Capser, and today they live in the home Albert and Mary Jane built as their retirement home. It has been a pleasant break from carrying wood and stoking the fires of the old farmhouse. Tyler works full-time for Lums Pond Animal Hospital as a technician. Tyler is an active member of Calvary Baptist Church in Newark, Delaware. She also serves as a member of the Cecil County Fair Board. Willie is also busy with his seed business, Sheeler Seeds. Willie and Tyler's daughter, Heidi, received her bachelor's degree from St. Mary's College, St. Mary's City, Maryland, and is now working towards her master's degree in criminology at Northeastern University in Boston, Massachusetts. Over the years, many improvements to the farm have taken place. The original barn has been restored with the help of the Amish. Old sheds have been replaced with the construction of new machinery sheds that also serve as a repair shop for their equipment along with storage. After many months of toil and labor, the farmhouse was restored by Albert and Terry, allowing for generations to come to enjoy. The original two rooms remain that were built in 1776. One of Ab and his son's last projects together before his death was a conservation improvement, the dredging and restoration of the pond. The pond was completed before his death, although he did not get to see the pond filled as it is today. The pond also serves the community as a dry hydrant. Since Ab's death, his boys have been busy with farm life. As everyone knows, a farmer's work is never done. Besides farming their 160-acre farm, they also rent land throughout the county. They plant corn, soybeans, wheat, and barley. In the spring, they also replant approximately 1,000 acres of horse pasture in Chesapeake City. During the summer months, they're busy with cutting and baling timothy, alfalfa, and orchard grass hay for the year-long sale to needed customers and their animals. They also do custom baling on an as-needed basis for neighboring farms. As well as their own crops, they also do custom harvesting of corn and beans during the fall months. Hauling the byproduct when needed is also provided. There is always a need to maintain the woodland with the removal of fallen and decaying trees, maintaining hedgerows, repairing machinery and buildings. With the growth of the farming industry, they installed grain dryers in 2010 to help with the moisture control and storage of their own corn and beans. 
The boys work together to provide environmentally friendly pest management with the use of manure, an organic fertilizer, following a strict state-sanctioned nutrient management plan that dictates when, how often, and how much material can be applied to the land. Today, the Ewing brothers work closely with soil conservation to rotate crops on a regular basis, along with maintaining grass-covered areas to prevent topsoil erosion and help with waterway diversions to safeguard our natural resources in our environment. Yes, the Ewing brothers have continued the farming and family traditions that Ab Ewing began so many, many years ago.